Hey, it's Joe Lines, and in this quick video here, I just want to demonstrate how you could automate uh, sales emails or whatever type of marketing emails you're doing. And it's, of course, the most important part of a sales or marketing email is that it's personalized. It's relevant to the respondent. So I've pieced together some fake data here based on people who were interested in, you know, a given certain sector, maybe, or end equipment, um, or a segment, or they live in a certain city, you know, the first or last name. And let me first demonstrate the script so I can um, I'm doing a mail merge with Outlook using integrating it with Excel. So I could I could hit my button here and it will write the email for me um, and pull it up. And so that was, uh, who was that? That was Dave I was on. And so it notice it says, hi, Dave. I'm a sales guy at the automator and I work in this. Now that is what his TV high definition, that was his end equipment, right? Also the subject line notices the TV high definition. Um, and then the bottom, even in my signature, I've tailored my signature to match what is relevant to him. So if I was to um, rerun this, actually, you know what? Let's leave. Let's let's leave at least this 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 part. Right. Let's grab that. Um, and we'll just leave it open. And I'll hit this one, which is on Tyrone. And now for Tyrone, it comes up. Hi, Tyrone. But notice it says AC. AV receiver versus high def, right? So you'd have to have all this information, but um, you could be sending these things in Outlook. Notice the subject line here, and it should be in my signature as well. Um, I think even somewhere in a mention, oh, here's San Francisco. Um, and so hopefully Tyrone is in San Francisco. So you get the idea. Um, I could also, let me go ahead and close that. Let me get rid of these other two. And um, I have it built where I could highlight all four of them, it doesn't matter what I highlight, it just it detects the row I'm in. And I'm gonna hit my hotkey and it's gonna build those. Um, and there they are. Now I could also just change it to deploy them instead of showing them once I'm happy and satisfied that it's doing what I want. You know what, I'll cancel these later. But let me jump to the script um, and give you at least a little review. So this keeps it uh, to just one version. Uh, reload, this is my actual hotkey to, to trigger it. This will connect to Excel. This one helps me get the first row selected, right? So that's not that's how I know where I am. And then I get the count of how many rows are selected. And so that's how I'm doing the looping. If I get the first row and then get the count, and then I just do some basic math when I'm looping, uh, get the last column, I, I, I create an object, shove it all in there, loop over it, and I'm pulling out the information. So I'm getting the uh, the key value pairs of the email address and the column that says email. And uh, it's nice because then later in my creative, so let's see right in here, this is my creative, this is my intro, and here's where I'm piping in. So this is where the OBJ, right? That's where my, or, sorry, OB is my object um, first name. And it's a little funky as far as the uh, the text to understand where to use the quotes and whatnot, right? Um, but I'll I'll make a link to this and you can borrow from it if you want. Uh, but it, it's still, it's, it's pretty darn straightforward and easy to um, use to, to run. It'll run out of your default Outlook email account. Um, and so this is just the email. So I put the intro and then here's my signature. So I have them separate just in case I'm doing something different with them. Um, down here, I'm opening uh, basically Outlook, creating uh, a mail item in here, which is the email, telling it it's HTML, uh, putting the to who it's getting sent to. If I wanted to assign a, a CC, I could put their email address here, or I, I'm using a variable at this point, or I could add a blind CC if I want to copy myself just to make sure I know it was sent. Uh, easily store it, I should say. Uh, shoving in the subject, um, you can change the level of importance. You could also have it deploy at different times. Um, I don't have that in the script, but that's easy to do. These are the last two. This one is mail item display to true, means it's gonna actually show up and I'll look at it. If I didn't want to look at it, um, I could comment that out, comment this in, and that will just deploy it the second I hit it. So I don't want to demonstrate that because those are all fake email addresses. And um, you won't actually see anything. So other than them bounce back. Uh, this column, the character is just a function that that says, hey, give, given a, a number, because that's what that above uh, call returns. The column will return as a number. Um, this returns as a number in the column. And so I'm just converting it to the alpha, the string value. And uh, that's it. It's again, it's uh, it's if you uh, don't know a lot about uh, writing good marketing, you know, direct emails, um, I highly suggest you read like uh, Gary Halbert or Dan Kennedy, uh, Joseph Sugarman. They're all great copywriters and 
it's all about relevance, you know, making it look when, when I worked at a, a large corporation, they wanted to send this really fancy branded one with all these pictures and basically nobody read them because they didn't think it was a person talking to them. It's really critical that the respondent thinks a person's talking to you. And when you add all that tracking to, which we could do, but when you add tracking so you can tell people open and click, uh, people see that and they know that, Hey, it's, this is, you know, kind of, it's not that it's quote unquote spammy. It's just that now someone, you know, it's, it's more sophisticated and I'm not necessarily just talking directly to a person and often they won't reply or even look at what you're doing. So hope that helps. Cheers.